A 76 million year old skeleton has been found in Utah and it's a truly unprecedented discovery. There's just something about dinosaurs. While these enormous creatures might have been extinct for millions of years, they still managed to capture the imagination of people all over the world. Perhaps it's that which makes the recent discovery in Utah so enthralling, above and beyond the scientific importance of the find. Scientists believe that dinosaurs first began walking the Earth sometime around 235 million years ago, in what's known as the Triassic period. Then, for almost 200 million years, they were the dominant species on the planet. Our current records show that there were at least 1,000 different species of the giant reptiles. People first began finding dinosaur fossils in the late 19th century, and since then the giant beasts have constantly captured the public's imagination. Thanks to that, there's a steady stream of funding allocated for finding more remains. That in turn leads to even more exciting discoveries. One of the most important sites in the United States for dinosaur discoveries is in Utah. The area known as the Grand Staircase is in the south of the state. The first dinosaur skeletons were discovered here in the 1880s, but there are a number of reasons why the locale has become so important to paleontologists in more recent times. After the initial rush of discoveries, there wasn't much of a push to continue digging on the Grand Staircase. That all changed towards the end of the last century thanks in part to a raft of new scientists who are eager to further their careers. The geology of the area gives them ample opportunity to do just that. The Grand Staircase is essentially a series of layers of different kinds of rocks. They run out from the Grand Canyon in a series of steps, which give the area its name. These rock formations are all of different ages, and because of a quirk in Utah's climate, dinosaur remains are often found not far from ground level. In areas further south in the United States, a drier climate means that soil erosion is a lot slower. In the areas to the north, a wet climate means more forests, and more forests means more roots and more organisms in the soil, which can lead to fossils being wrecked. But those aren't properties that occur in southern Utah. While there's rainfall in southern Utah, it's nowhere near as strong as it is further north. That means erosion happens, which in turn helps bring fossils to the surface, but the ground isn't wet enough for forests to take hold. Thanks to this near-perfect climate then, dinosaur remains are often discovered in the Grand Staircase area, and that seen paleontologists flock to the region. But perhaps the most alluring thing about the Grand Staircase for more junior paleontologists is what it could mean for their career. That's because there's a good chance that anything they do discover is going to belong to a new species. Digging in rocks that have yet to be explored often means finding something new, and that's a huge draw for anyone wanting to make their name in the field. Interestingly though, it's not the newness of the latest discovery that makes it so astounding. The remains discovered recently in southern Utah belong to a species already known to experts. However, sometimes it's not the relevance of the discovery, but the sheer size of it that's important. The Teratophonius curry strode across the planet in the late Cretaceous period, some 77 million years ago. It belongs to the same family of meat-eating dinosaurs as the world-famous Tyrannosaurus rex. But while the latter is more well known, the former has by far the more gruesome name. You see, in Latin, the name translates to monstrous murder, and it's not hard to understand why paleontologists christened it that. While a fully grown Teratophonius has never been discovered, bones belonging to young adults have. Using these, scientists have suggested the giant creature was 16 to 20 feet long and weighed nearly 1,500 pounds. When paleontologists first classified the dinosaur, they didn't have a lot to go on. A few pieces of fossilized bone had been discovered, but that was it. Now though, something truly remarkable has been dug out of the ground in southern Utah. It's the most complete fossil of a member of the Tyrannosaur family ever found in the southwest of the United States. Scientists reckon an incredible three-quarters of its skeleton has been preserved. Furthermore, the monumental find is likely to offer a unique glimpse into the history of the Tyrannosaurs that lived in what is now the southern United States. But finding the bones is only half the story. The discovery was made back in 2015 by a paleontologist called Alan Titus, but it's taken almost two years for the fossil to be fully excavated. That's due in part to the location where the bones were discovered. It was by no means easy for the excavation team to get to. Paleontologist Randall Ermis describes some of the difficulties that the team faced. Ermis is an associate professor at the University of Utah, as well as a curator at the National History Museum of Utah. Many areas are so remote that often we need to have supplies dropped in and the crew hikes in, he said. 
In this case, everything that the paleontologists needed, they carried to the site. That included all of the tools, the plaster they needed to make the cast of the bones, and a good deal of water as well. For three weeks in May, they worked on the find. After another two weeks of preparation later in the year, the Teratophonius was finally ready to be moved. The remains were taken by helicopter to the Natural History Museum of Utah. Ermis estimates that it took around 3,000 man hours to get the dinosaur fossils ready and onto the helicopter. But that's by no means the end of the story. There's still an awful lot of work to be done on the bones. At least another 10,000 hours are left just to get the dinosaur ready for inspection. It's a long, painstaking process, but the results could well give us a much better understanding of the southern Tyrannosaur species. They were decidedly different from their northern cousins, and this huge find might tell us why. More than that, though, the new discovery further proves that southern Utah is an incredibly important part of the United States when it comes to understanding dinosaurs. The vast majority of species discovered there have so far been unique to the area. What new mysteries the Teratophonius holds remains to be seen, but it's another fascinating find in a fascinating part of the world.